Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pineapple Pirate here, and today we're here with another tutorial video. And I'm going to try to make this tutorial video as quick as I can, because I know you guys have your busy days ahead of you. You don't want to spend it all watching a tutorial video. So, today's tutorial video is how to use MC Edit, and this is going to be the light version. Like, the quick things that you need to know to use MC Edit, but you don't need to know the things that you don't need to know about MC Edit. So... Right off the bat, if there's anything that I didn't cover, I have another MC Edit video. I may or may not link that in the description below. And actually, I probably will. And yeah, so just check out that if there's anything that I didn't cover that you need to know. And let's get on. So first things that you need to know is how to open a world or get into a world or etc, etc, etc. So the first thing you can do is create a new world. And that'll obviously create a new world for you. And yeah, you can just enter in all your presets like game type and then all this and... It's pretty self-explanatory, -exp nothing that I really need to get into. Uh, the second thing you can do is load world, and that's how you get into any MC or Minecraft um, world using MC Edit. So I have quite a few worlds on Minecraft. So if I wanted to get into, say, Pineapple Pirate Island, which is my Pappy Craft series, then I would just open it, and then I would go load. For this um, demonstration, we're going to go to Contraption. No, we'll go to P Post, because that's one of my worlds. But we'll, go we'll do that in the future. Um, another thing you can do is open a level and that'll just open data to your level and then you go like you just would double click and then you would go to level data and it would do the same thing and then you have your last open world so for me it would be pineapple pirate and this is my last last open through minecraft so pineapple pirate island post which is um, a testing zone for me shout out wall of fame which is my shout out series build craft and overworld which is the music video so then it would give you your five special things on the sidebar below on the sidebar beside obviously um if you press any one of these keys it'll it'll do that so you, for you so if i pressed l it would load a world so then i go into post and then i hit load world or just load i guess more than load world but still so now i'm in the world and as you can see i have a whole bunch of stuff going on again because it's my testing zone so there's nothing really uh fancy in here mostly just a bunch of trash so first things first to move around like with a free camera like as you can see like right now I can only move like side to side move I can only move to side to side to move like with your camera like a panorama view like this all you have to do is hold right click down or if you tap it like really quickly like just a tap you can move it around and then if you tap it again you stop moving around but again it's easier to hold down right click and then you can just move your camera as you're holding it down and then to, to get lock view you just hold down and if you clicked, then just click it again, and it'll get out of that. Next thing you need to know, you have, as you can see right now, I have a little um, bar, like a little box here. This is to select items. So say I wanted to select this wall, I would click once, and it would give me an area, and I would quick, uh, click twice. And now I have a selected area, and you can do many things, I'll get into that. As you can see down here, I have, it says 27W, 1L, and 5H. That means 27 wide, 1 uh, in l one L. Actually, I have no idea. Usually it says something like... Oh, yeah, length, length, sorry. So that means it's 27... Sorry, I'll do that again. It's 27 wide this way, 1 length, like this way, and 5 high. So that's just going to tell you. And then the nudge button, if you left-click down on it and hold... And then use your WASD cues. You can move it around like that. So if I have a big area and I just want to get a precise thing, I can use my nudge buttons to do, to nudge the uh, selection around. So that's that. And then the other thing, if you right click, as you can see, like when I do my pan around view, the box comes really close to me. And that's if I want to do a free, uh, like if I don't want to depend on using like scale because this will just scale with anything that's on the ground. But if I want to get like hover in the air, and I wanted to place blocks in the air, I would just do that. And that's where the nudge key comes in handy quite a bit. And then if I'm holding right click, I can zoom in, like scroll. If I scroll, I can zoom in and zoom out. And same. Yeah. So now if I have this area selected, I can do many things with that. First thing I can do is go clone. And if I hit clone, I I've cloned it already. If I double click now, I can place it again. And then I use my WSD keys to nudge it. I can rotate, roll, flip, or mirror it. And that's pretty self explanatory. I'm not going to get into it. If I hit escape, it won't do anything. So that's how you can clone stuff. So just double click, put it anywhere you want. 
and then the next thing you can do is go fill so right here you have like right now you can only see a few but if you type in anything so say i wanted to fill it in with green wool instead of red wool i just type green and then it would find any matching kind of like google and then i would fill it with green wool so now the wall is green and you can do that with any block in all of minecraft so if i wanted to do it with glowstone i would do that i would click glowstone and i would hit enter and now the wall is glowstone so that's that and then i think the last thing you guys need to know sorry actually there's two more things that you guys should know move player so say i'm lost somewhere like way out in the woods and i want to use mc edit to find where my original home was i would go like this actually they changed it what the heck okay move player so then i would hit move player and say i i'm over here i don't want to travel all the way the distance to this castle over here which i made just by the way <laughs> I don't want to travel all the way to this castle, and it's been ravaged by a music video that I did. And I want to put myself right in front of it. So now I'm in front of it, and that's... Now I'm in front of it. So that's how you do that. And align to camera, like... So now, if I wanted to be his view to be where I am, because I see a really nice view of this place, then I'm going to go align to camera. So now he's up here looking at what I was looking at previously. So he would be... If I want to go into Minecraft, he'll be looking there. Next thing you need to know, moving your spawn point... So if you hit that little caged uh, Steve, you can move your spawn in. It's basically really easy. All you do that. And now, now my spawn is set to there. And yeah. Okay. So uh, the rest of the stuff I, I have other videos on. Like importing and exporting. I have a special video on that and everything. So that's pretty much everything you guys know for the basics of MC Edit. If you want to do. And if you use these, um, like what I just told you can get you really far in MC Edit. You don't really need to know a whole lot more unless you're going into more like um, importing and exporting, but that's still really easy. And you can probably learn yourself once you get a little bit familiar with MC Edit. But yeah, so I think the only thing I need to show you now is the in-world options where you can change your world and everything. To get to your menu, you have to hit Control. The most important thing is hitting Save. So once you save, it'll take a little bit of time depending how lo how many changes you made to world and saving it. And then you can just do all this, which is also pretty simple. So yeah, that's about all you guys need to know to get familiar with MC Edit, and the rest pretty much will come to you because I know you're all smart, intelligent people who know how to use the computers very well. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial video. I hope it helped you out a lot. And please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. I come out with daily Minecraft videos. Don't think that this is... The only thing that I do on my channel because it's definitely not. And yeah, so I hope to talk to you guys all in the next video that I put out. And yeah, bye.